Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 of this replay. He's still dishing it out, a nice side storm coming in, and a, a lot of these marines and marauders very, very low on hit points. And another another well-placed side storm, and that's going to be a very dead army, and there it is. So much of this army now just simply taken out by side storm. And the medevac is also taking a, a, a lot of that damage as well. And Perhaps we'll be able to get a couple blinks in and continue to chase down these units. Um, if they're able to take down those medevacs and the rest of these units, a single Dark Templar sitting in there, the scanner sweep quickly revealing the rest of those units. Force fields now being laid down, and those marauders, very, very low on hit points, able to get healed back up. Hasu Obs was able to set up this natural expansion, or, or this ex expansion over here at the 6 o'clock position now. Now warping in some additional High Templars as well. Uh, we also see a robotics bay being placed down um, to, in order to get the extended thermal lance range and also marauders on this high cliff so really Bradhawks fighting on multiple fronts able to deal a lot of that damage Hasu Obs um, did get the the medallion research so able to get a, a side storm onto there now trying to fight back even further another side storm should be enough to really take down the rest of these units however those marauders able to focus down one of those units before stalker blinking up onto that high ground down it goes so currently we have Bratal running off of three bases and the island location on the pop left hand side this yellow mineral location not getting any of the Vespian geysers here and also the natural expansion over here at the nine o'clock position meanwhile Hasu Ahabs running off of essentially two and a half bases oh losing this main base here I am sorry I keep on missing a lot of things I need to keep track of the mini map more like a lot of you guys have been saying um, just so much action so many fights um, happening all at the same time the uh, Colossus does not have the extended thermal lance range and now Bradtalk with those marines or with these marauders coming into position wants to take down the rest of these and uh, wants to take down this natural expansion a probe being placed down here marauders coming in a nice feedback to denying any chance of escape from those for those marauders zealots able to kite that single zealot zealot down to 78 hit points uh, the Mar Marauders still only upgraded 1-1-1 one, 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 and now in comes a Dark Templar. Dark Templar may get a couple kills off and be able to take down some of these units. No, Dark Templar moving away as those Marauders are now stimped. Gonna take down that single probe. Main army once again coming back to engage. A, a single phase prism here warping in a single Dark Templar. Marauders still running around trying to do some chasing. Nice kiting by those Marauders and trying to get every ounce of firepower from that Marauder before that Marauder is taken down. We have a large number of High Templars sitting in the middle of the map. We also have an Immortals being trained up, a Colossus being trained up, oh, sorry, only two Colossus currently in play, looking for that Robotics Facility. Nowhere to be found. Oh, there it is. Robotics Facility currently here. He does have the the robotic support bait i don't see where it is but i do not see any of that extended thermal lance range either single dark templar still sitting here should be able to perhaps take down this scv but there is also a missile turret here and now in come these units uh, those those colossus with the yeah now have the extended thermal lance range able to attack very very far and without any sight onto this high ground gonna make it very difficult Observer quickly, or now quickly doing a scanner sweep, that Observer may get taken down, down it goes. Being revealed by that scanner sweep as that Dark Templar once again on the move. There is a missile turret here, EMP Shockwave revealing that Dark Templar and down it goes. So both players just really trying to get a feel for each other at this stage in the game. Hasu Obs does not know about this natural expansion here and does not know about the high yield mineral location either. So this is really, really bad news. That Dark Templar gonna be able to come in from the back, but there is one missile turret which will reveal him. Dark Templar coming in now needs to get two hits per SCV in order to take down any of those units. Two quick snipes to, in order to um, take down that Dark Templar. So yeah, or th I think that was three snipes in order to take down that Dark Templar. We now have two one upgrades on the army of Bratok. So Bratok sitting on a 6300 mineral army versus Hasu Obs' 4375. Hasu Obs now mining um, from essentially two bases will be able to mine from three bases momentarily once this base gets up and running. Bratok mining from the same amount of bases as well, but now in comes a phase prism. Phase prism able to uh, deal out some damage as well. It looked as though the, the stalkers were able to take down that medevac before any additional units were able to come back in and now with that single warp prism there 
continually reinforcing this island location. Bratov may be forced to save GG. Psystorm cast. And we now have some Vikings coming in to join in on this fight. Marauders coming in, dropping down. And that Viking, th those four Vikings able to shoot down that War Prism. But the damage has been done. And Bratov's uh, SCV count has to be lower than 50 by now. Waiting for some sort of reset on these. Is it... Well, it still says it's at 50, so perhaps he didn't get as many kills as I thought, but yeah, it's at 51. Another engagement in the middle of the map. Scanner sweep, Colossus trying to engage. Another EMP shockwave hitting the rest of these units. Immortals now taking the, taking their fair share of damage and no additional, excuse me, no additional weapons upgrades for any of the Protoss units. At some point, I would expect this forge to try to research something. There is plenty of energy on all of the nexuses in order to chrono boost and get that research time down. That is definitely needed. Finally, Hasu Obs getting the level one weapons upgrade on those forge. On that forge, will give plus two damage to those zealots, plus four damage to those colossus, plus five damage to those immortals, and that is just such a large increase. Photon cannon now coming in. Colossus trying to get onto that high ground. Vikings coming in as well. That single Colossus not on that high ground, unable to really engage. Now getting in a little bit of a pincer attack as this Marine Marauder army able to squeeze out um, the rest of this whole entire fight. Hasu Ops now down to a skeleton crew. Only a, a thousand mineral army with uh, Brad OK sitting on a 6,700 mineral army as well. Ghost now coming in. Uh, oh, getting the size storm in there. A, a lot of those probes were taken down. And now we also have a Fleet Beacon. Fleet Beacon trying to research the Graviton Catapults in order to speed up the speed up the attacking of those carriers. Are we going to start seeing carriers? A late game carrier, only a single Stargate. So only w one carrier and mo one Mothership being trained up. Where is that Mothership being trained? Down here. Yeah, Mothership being trained down over here. Going to, be try going to try to hide off to the right hand side. There's too many Marines, too many Vikings to really deal with this though. Now out comes a single Marauder. Marauders able to uh, take down the rest of these pylons. And now trying to take down this Nexus. Nexus, however, uh, it looked as though the Nexus canceled that Mothership. So no Mothership. A single Archon coming in from that backside. Uh, almost able to take down some of those Medivacs. More Stalkers coming in as well against those Vikings. Taking down those Vikings. And long distance mining coming in. Those Marauders now going to be able to pick off a lot of these workers here. So Hasu Ob's now down to only 50 Harvesters. Middle of the map. Stalkers once again moving out. The High Templars moving out as well. We only have a single carrier out. Where is that carrier? One carrier here with a couple Interceptors being trained up. And that is about it. Marines and Marauders still... Um, it's still such a large army for Bratok. Hasu Ob's not giving up yet. Still seen at, at a 1,000 mineral army, but has to say GG soon. I could not imagine how Bratok can lose this game. Bratok can just walk through 50 Psy Storms and still have enough infantry to finish off the rest of this army. The o now, the only way that the, I can see the game not working out well for Bratok is if all the Marines and Mar all the Marines are grouped together with those Vikings, and the Psy Storms are able to completely take down every single Viking and Marine, be left leaving behind an army of Marauders to deal with this. Nice feedbacks coming in, an EMP shockwave hitting down that carrier, carrier losing 100 shields rel rather quickly. Now, uh, more fighting coming in, Psy Storm hitting down on these. Uh, on these Marauders. Marauders having enough armor to really deal with it. Viking coming in. And Hasu Ob says GG. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed game two in this matchup. Stay tuned for an additional game in this matchup between Hasu Ob's and Brad Talk.